A sacanino, da iri le ir camateo, da trajaba taino acutu o aria quisqueya. Greetings, my name is Irka Mateo. I'm a Taino grandmother from Quisqueya. Quisqueya is the Taino name of Dominican Republic, and the Tainos are the original inhabitants of the Greater Antilles, some Lesser Antilles, and the Bahamas. I'm here on behalf of El Museo del Barrio, and today we'll be talking and singing about our spirit ancestor, the Semi Yucahu which we can find in the museo's collection and is part of the Taino spirituality. I'm a singer-songwriter, artist, ceremonialist, and spiritual medicine woman. I was a member of the first Taino movement which worked to dispel the myth of our extinction in the mid-1980s. I traveled the island's countryside in search of the ancestors' living legacy, which was kept alive by the elders. Today, as an elder myself, I support and guide the younger Taino generations in embracing their new Caribbean identity and decolonizing their spiritual beliefs and healing practices. We see the majestic Seiba tree, which the Taino people regard as sacred. We still believe our ancestors reside inside the tree's trunk. In the Taino spiritual tradition, we give offerings to the tree and consult the ancestors for guidance. I will approach the Seiba to get to Kahu's blessings before carrying out a ritual. This is the Semi Yucahu located at El Museo del Barrio. Semi comes from the Arawakan word semi, which means sweetness. The Semi Yucahu Bagua Maurocoti is the spirit of the yuca and the sea with no male ancestor. He lives in the sky, is immortal, and cannot be seen. He's the main semi in Taino spirituality and is depicted as a three-pointed stone figure. He has a mother named Atabeira Guacara Pito Suimaco, who is the most important female semi in Taino spirituality. The power of our spirit ancestors resides in the sweetness of their guidance and protection. The Semillu Cahu is buried in the Conucos, the Taino plantations, where he fertilizes the soil and promotes abundant and healthy crops. This ritual has been passed down from generation to generation and is still practiced in Quisqueya. Thank you. 